News Channel 34 is recognizing remarkable women in our area. This week, we introduce you to a Shenango Bridge woman whose faith, family, and friends supported her through a life-changing challenge. It's a very nice, very nice letter. Alice Cavanaugh grew up on Long Island, accustomed to caring for others in a multi-generational home, including her ailing grandfather. But that care would rise to a whole new level in 1972, when her husband Vinny fell off a stepladder, breaking his neck and becoming paralyzed from the neck down. It was a pretty scary time. You know, no one really knew what to do with my dad. And not many people had survived that kind of thing. Vinny spent eight months in Wilson Hospital and another eight months at a rehab facility in New York City. Meanwhile, Alice relied on friends and neighbors to help care for their four young children. It's very important that you not look so far into the future. You take one day at a time. The Cavanaugh's had moved to Shenango Bridge when Vinny was promoted to a job as a civil engineer with the DOT. After his injury, Vinny wanted to resign, but the state wouldn't let him. With the help of relatives, the Cavanaugh's installed a home office for him to work out of. He was the brains and I was the hands. <laughs> and uh, yes, it worked very well. And Vinny remained active in his children's lives, tutoring them and attending all of their after-school functions. He was bound and determined, and I was bound and determined that he would raise his children and be home with them, and, and it worked out. Erin Cavanaugh was 11 when her father was injured. With the aid of hindsight, she's gained a greater appreciation of the sacrifices her mother had to make. She would never think that what she did and does is extraordinary, but to those who watch it most, it certainly is. At the time of his accident, Alice had been taking night classes to become a nurse. Instead, she became a nurse for one. When Vinnie died in 1993, Alice turned to helping out in the community. Every Wednesday morning, she and her friend Karen volunteer by cleaning and changing beds at the Danielle House, a Binghamton home away from home for people who have loved ones in the hospital. She's a community-minded person from church to family to friends and um, feels very comfortable in that role of helping people. Alice also visits almost daily a dear friend recovering from a stroke who was there for her in her darkest hours. For Alice, it's the natural thing to do. People just rally around you. People are wonderful. People are wonderful. And, uh, yeah, we, we couldn't really survive without friends, without family. And Alice and Vinnie gave back in another way, meeting with other quadriplegics and proving through their actions that life can endure a seemingly insurmountable tragedy. Alice will kill me for saying this, but I'll say it anyway. Alice Cavanaugh recently turned 80 and was joined by three of her children, Aaron, Carrie, and JP, for a special birthday dinner. Her other son, Vincent, could not make the trip from Idaho. Alice is in the running now for a trip to the Mel Robbins show in New York City, which will, that taping will air the week of March 23rd. Next Tuesday, we'll feature another one of our four finalists.